scientists and welcome to the lesson on assembly programming and the particular language that we're going to use here is the one that's defined by AXL I think I misspelled this this should be A C S L the American Computer Science League so this is uh, not an actual language that's used in real life it's just something to help us learn what assembly language is gives us uh, kind of a simpler version to work with without having to worry about too many details. Okay. So first thing that I want to talk about is the process that goes from source code, okay, source code to executable. So this is there's actually a lot of things going on here when you uh, compile and try to run source uh, a source code. So let me just kind of sketch this out, and then we'll ex we'll talk about it. Okay. So first is a file. I'm just going to call this main.cpp, and I'm using C, C and C++ as, as my example here. Although we could actually use um, a number of languages. Okay. And then what comes after that is, of course, uh, the compiler. The compiler's job is to make sure that all of the syntax is correct and it converts it into a, something called a .s file and this is uh, assembly code uh, there's actually a, one more step in here there's something called the, the preprocessor but uh, I'm not going to get into that too much too much right now okay? so then after that assembly code gets goes through another process called the uh, this is the assembler now and the assembler produces a binary file. So this will be like main.o, and this is the, uh, a binary file. Okay, so this is all ones and zeros. And then after that, um, it gets linked. And then finally, you get something like uh, hello or main dot exe and this is the executable file this is the file that the computer actually runs okay and um, so the assembly code is what's happening here in this process in this general area right here when you take when the compiler takes C++ code and converts it into assembly code and then the assembler takes that assembly code and converts it into a binary file and so this is the area where assembly code is concerned and you know this is kind of the, the big picture. We start out with source code that a programmer can understand, and it goes through a, a kind of like this this pipeline here, and it produces an executable file that the computer can understand. Okay? So programmer on this side, computer on this side. And as we go through this, the code gets a little bit harder to read. This is pretty simple to read if you're a programmer and a good you have good programming style. And then this down here is just a bunch of ones and zeros that really almost no one can look at and make any sense of it but a computer can execute it and all these steps here are kind of intermediate steps in between okay, so that's kind of the big overall picture of assembly code and maybe before we get into the specific details of the language uh, let's just talk about like why write okay, assembly why bother to do this when someone else has sort of figured this out already for us and there's a plenty of good compilers available that we can get for free or certainly purchase. So why bother to do this? Well, there's a few reasons. First, uh, it gives us an increased understanding of software development. The more you know about this process, uh, you get a, a more complete picture. So you're not, you know, you don't have like complete tunnel vision here. Um, second, and I think this is the main benefit, is that it is uh, increased performance okay. increased performance in other words if you can write code in assembly you can save um, memory save here it means to reduce okay not to like store to save memory and uh, CPU time because when you use a compiler, you're sort of at the mercy of the compiler, that particular Im implementation, and there's a lot of overhead here. And a lot of cases, in a lot of scenarios, it's okay to, to accept the overhead, but if you, you really want to write like super efficient code using the minimal amount of memory, assembly is the way to go. 
And then one last benefit here, and this is kind of my personal thing, um, there is a kind of a, a beauty um, in the simplicity of the assembly language. Okay. So I'll get into this more in the next video, but the assembly language is basically just three, sometimes four words per line, and that's it. That's uh, that's that's about all that, that that there is. You don't have to worry about any particular weird syntax. There's really like the the simplicity here is you know mostly in the syntax of the of the language. It's pretty simple to understand. Um, it takes a very long time to master, and it can be very challenging to write a, a larger size program. But if you're writing something simple and super, and you need to be efficient, assembly is definitely the way to go. Now watch the next video where we'll actually get into the details of the language and then we'll do some examples. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.